Republicans have held both Kansas Senate seats for the last 80 years, and longtime Senator Pat Roberts is retiring after decades in Washington. KSNT News Capitol Bureau reporter Alec Gardner tells us who's lining up to replace him. 14 months until the primary, and right now there's only one candidate. But soon the field is expected to get a lot bigger. Kansas Treasurer Jake LaTurner has been campaigning for the position since January. We were the first in the race, and we think that that is important um, and an advantage. More candidates are expected to join the race in the coming months. Political analyst Bob Beatty says the Democrat and Republican races will look very different. On the Republican side is some very big names. Uh, possibly running, people who hold office, people who've held office. In Kansas, there's not a lot of Democrats uh, who are in office. We have Sharice Davids, a congresswoman. We have Laura Kelly, a governor. Beatty says the Republican list could include Congressman Roger Marshall, Senate President Susan Wagle, Attorney General Derek Schmidt, Kansas Chamber of Commerce President Alan Cobb, former Governor Jeff Collier, and former Secretary of State Chris Kobach. The Democratic side could have U.S. Attorney Barry Grissom and former Representative Nancy Boyda. If a Democrat were to win, every six years that Democrat would be fighting tooth and nail to keep that job. Not really so true for a Republican. It's very possible a Republican could win the 2020 Kansas Senate seat and be there for 20 or 30 years. Two names that could shake up the race are former Democratic Governor Kathleen Sebelius and current U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, a Republican. LaTurner, also a Republican, says he welcomes any competition. It's important to give voters a choice in this election. The primary will be held in August of next year. Reporting at the Capitol, I'm Alec Gartner.